All right, so welcome. My name is Joseph Bernal, and I'll be your instructor for the semester. So what I want to do is provide a video sort of introduction. Uh, I provided some introductions here, as you can see um, on the screen that I'm sharing, but uh, sometimes it's a little bit impersonal, and some people prefer, you know, somebody face to face talking to them and kind of guiding them through what they should be doing for the semester. So I decided to record a video and upload it, and this is where we're at. So welcome. This is philosophy 1301. This is introduction to philosophy, and with an introduction course, you know. Uh, what the purpose of an introduction course is to kind of provide a broad sort of spectrum, a little bit of like a taste test of every type of different philosophy, kind of what's out there. Uh, of course, we don't have enough time to go through every single philosopher or every single type of philosophy, but these are just kind of like the main ones that are out there, the traditional ones you see a lot. So that's what this course is about. It's just kind of familiarize yourself and know what's out there. Uh, as a philosopher myself, you know, if you're interested, you take it further and you start kind of investigating a particular type of philosophy or a particular approach or a particular subject. And those are things that I do personally um, with philosophy of science. That's my main area. So, you know, issues to do with science and how that relates to ethics, technology, uh, metaphysics, uh, epistemology. Those terms we'll see in the semester, but those are the type of things that I work with. So, what I've noticed, and kind of I said it here in this introduction, is students, you don't have to be a genius to pass this course or do well in this course. In year and eight. Uh, what I've seen is that students who do very well in these type of courses are ones that are most organized. You're keeping up with the assignments, you're keeping up with the readings. Uh, you know, I don't expect anybody to be an expert, of course. Uh, this, this is why it's an introduction course, but I do expect you to provide effort. You're know, really actually trying to engage. You actually did try to read. Don't uh, just simply come to me and say, well, uh, I don't understand anything. I did try to read, just explain it to me. Rather, you know, give a good effort. See what you can get from the text. If it's still confusing, then come to me and then I'll help you through that. So to kind of start off in the first couple of weeks, what we're doing is start with the syllabus and some the PowerPoint uh, group project that's part of the overall grade. And I'm gonna be doing that. We'll be having discussion questions weekly over the chapters. And you have to respond to those. Uh, other people's discussion posts as well. That's part of your grade. And we'll see also a, exams and stuff like that. So let me open up the syllabus first. And so it's kind of easier to help guide through the material. So we have, uh, like I said, the PowerPoint assignment and I'll go in detail right now on that. Uh, participation, that's part of your responses that you're including with your discussion post. Uh, and then quizzes, so will be quizzes weekly, and then finally there'll be a final paper uh, that'll be worth 20%. So notice a big chunk of the grade comes from the discussion posts, the quizzes collectively, and the final paper is also its own big chunk. You'll have a lot of time to work on that. I'll give you usually about a month to work on that towards the end of the semester. So let me go into a little bit more detail with the PowerPoint. So I know people hate group projects, but I think it's necessary to sort of be able to work with because it does teach you how to work uh, in groups and skills and team and time management. Uh, I know it's difficult a lot of times. I've had my own problems, even if, when I was a student and a professional, you know, that people not doing their work or trying to, you know, get everybody together on the same page. But it is a skill that you'll have to learn and um, doesn't get any easier later. But what will get easier is, will make it get easier a little bit is uh, developing some skills, knowing how to handle that. You've been through this before. So that's what partly. And also the point of the project here, why I made it a PowerPoint was that a lot of students ask me for the PowerPoints. They say, well, can I have a copy of the PowerPoint? The problem with that is kind of just like just trying to copy and paste 
but not really understanding. So if you're confused and you don't really understand, well, the PowerPoint is definitely going to be helpful because it's just going to be a repeat of what was in the book. Rather, I've seen what's really helpful is when you make your own PowerPoint because then you're going to have to understand and put it together and summarize it and put it in a nice, concise, clean format uh, that makes it easy to, to understand. And when you complete your group, complete your PowerPoint, what I do is I take that copy after I grade it and I provide it in our Blackboard shell as a reference. So that acts as the PowerPoint. So students helping other students I've also noticed is also really beneficial. So that's why I part of made the assignment. Now, let me take you to that section. If you look on the left-hand side with PowerPoint assignment. So you have a schedule here. This is uh, the schedule of all the members in your group. This is where you'll find your group members. And when you present or when you're providing your PowerPoint submission and what that submission should be over, right? So the first group is going to be providing a PowerPoint of chapter two, and that'll be submitted on the 27th before 5 p.m. And so these group members will be working together. And you see it carries on like that further throughout the semester. We don't uh, have a uh, presentation group. Uh, well, that double line got mixed up in the formatting, but uh, we have group eight and then group nine. And then after that, after April 7th, uh, there won't be any uh, PowerPoint presentation groups. So as you can see, you're only responsible for your group and your presentation now. You don't have to do all the PowerPoints for the chapter. Now, what should the PowerPoint uh, include? As you can see in the syllabus, I kind of gave an overview of that. Uh, what your PowerPoint should include is a brief breakdown of that chapter. What were the main points of that chapter? What were the vocabulary terms that you're not accustomed to? What are questions that your group had that you weren't too sure of? And you got together and you answered those questions because those answers are probably answers to questions that other people had, your fellow students. So I want you guys to help each other out and come up with original examples in your PowerPoint. That is also really helpful. So the best way to memorize something is actually to make it personal, make it something that you can relate to. It makes sense to you. And then part of that, so you'll submit the PowerPoint and I'll post the link to under here where you'll be provided the PowerPoint uh, link. And all you do is take that PowerPoint. Uh, one person is only has to take, uh, upload the PowerPoint, not the whole group. Uh, so usually you have a leader, pick somebody who's gonna kind of represent the group and they're going to upload the PowerPoint. And then when they do, uh, I'll look over it, I'll grade it, I'll get feedback. And then you'll see, you'll see it posted in your grades. Now, the other part that is individual where everybody has to provide uh, their own is what I call the group uh, report template. So everybody's going to give a report. So like I said, sometimes it's difficult working together in a group. Not everybody's pulling their weight. Maybe not everybody's uh, completing what they should have, what was agreed to. This is your report to kind of document all that. This is where every individual in the group has a chance to have a voice. And you're going to submit this on your own when you're ready to submit it, uh, the PowerPoint overall. So let me open this up real quick. I provided a template already. So all you have to do is download the template, fill it out. On the top, you'll put uh, what group you are in, uh, the date, uh, the due date for the PowerPoint, uh, the chapter that you your group was to cover, your name, and then activities completed. What was completed in the in the group. Uh, and this is where we, you can break down even further to text. So your other group members, let's say uh, the first person were, was responsible for doing the first three slides. So that should be documented here in past. What are the, for they were doc, uh, they were responsible for the first three slides and they was due on this particular day or you got together saying everybody has, 
get their part in by Thursday so we can submit it later in the week. So put all that down here in this document, any issues, we try to contact this person, for example, and they didn't respond to us, put that in the issue, issue uh, section and uh, team and comments and contributions. If you want to get praise as well, so, you know, we work really great together. Uh, so, so they're really above and beyond. Uh, they really helped. Those are all included in your report. I want to see that. So everybody's in the group is going to submit their own uh, project report. You don't have to type, start typing up from scratch. Just download the PowerPoint, I'm not the, 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 per, the paper here, the document, right? The template, and you're gonna just fill that out. And then you're gonna save it into your files, and then you're gonna upload it uh, in this section, and I'll create a upload section. So all you have to do is click on it, and then upload the document and submit it, and that'll be it. And that'll be due, the report is due the same day as the overall group projects PowerPoint is too. So, in every, so when you submit the PowerPoint, you're also going to submit the report as well. Now, let's go back. What other things? Now, for the textbook, I know some people were having trouble getting the textbook on time. The best I can do, and this is due to copyright issues, is that I can only provide really uh, one free chapter in the textbook. And so I provided a, a copy, if you look in textbook info, chapter two of the textbook, and you're able to uh, look at that and read it and, and download it. Um, that's all I can really provide. Uh, the other chapters, you will have to purchase the book, whether it's an ebook or a physical copy. Uh, I'm open to either. You don't have to get a physical copy if you prefer an ebook, but you will need some version of the book. And oh, quick mention I forgot uh, to contact your group members, right? How do you get hold of these people? There's an email section right here on the left hand side, and you're able to uh, contact everybody who's in the course. There's their information, and you can simply send them. An email and keep me in the loop as well. If somebody's not responding, let me know. And so that's the group PowerPoint stuff. Now, for the discussion board, you're supposed to start off here. And we have some due dates coming up pretty soon. Uh, February 10th is going to be our first one uh, for the chapter three. Uh, chapter two is going to come up the week before that. So I want you to just get in the habit of uh, being accustomed to the, to the discussion board. Uh, the instructions are there, but really think about it. So here is a, is a clear um, explanation of what I'm expecting. I'm expecting at least three paragraphs in your response. So this is not the type of discussion board where you're like, oh, it's a really good idea, or I like to read it, and then that's it, I get credit. You're actually going to have to really think about this. There are going to be tough questions that I'll be asking for. So you really have to consider what you have to say. Uh, put it together, proofread as well. Don't simply just type and expect that I'll understand it. And then also, when you respond to somebody else's, and I remember that's part of your participation grade, it should be at least two paragraphs. Again, don't say, oh, great job, and then just like that's it, that's not really helpful. Uh, you can also provide constructive feedback. This is a huge thing within philosophy. Uh, we're not here to put down anybody. What we're here to is to help people develop their ideas. So if you see maybe somebody's uh, idea was a little off on of what the chapter was saying, help them out a little bit. Uh, be polite, that's part of the Medicare rules that I've included in the syllabus as well. Uh, but you can, we're all here to like help raise each other and bring each other up. So that is part of it. You'll have two days to respond to the discussion, but after the due date. So let's say, it's, for example, it was due on the 10th, February 10th, right? Uh, you have two days from the 10th to respond to somebody else's post to get that participation. Right? And then quizzes. We'll have the weekly quizzes as well. And I think include the first quizzes can be due February 4th. 
before 11 p.m. And there's a practice quiz already up there that you can take, and you're going to take as many times as you want. It's just to make sure that your computer is working well. And I highly recommend use the same computer for all your quizzes. Um, the mistake I see people make is that they use one computer, then they use a different computer, and then let's say the second computer wasn't updated, there's something wrong with the browser, and then now they're it messed up their quiz or something like that. So stick with one that you know works and stay with that for the rest of the semester. And then we'll have a final paper later that's, and I'll go into details about that once we get to that point. But we're not quite there. Uh, I give a little explanation in the syllabus what the final is gonna be about. It's gonna be somewhat comprehensive. You're gonna take a particular uh, philosopher or type of philosophy that we covered, and you're gonna relate it to your particular uh, major and your particular life. So, you know, if you're a psychology major, how did, what did we cover when we talked about the card, for example? How is that related to psychology and, and issues that you'll have to deal with in psychology, uh, the body and the mind, things like that. So, any, and we'll cover a wide variety of philosophers and types of philosophy that you can relate to anything. You can be an art major, you can be a physics major, it doesn't matter. If you need help, that's what I'm here for. I can help you kind of flush out these ideas. Uh, but that's what we're looking at. And I'll go in more detail, of course, when we get closer to that date. Now, uh, keep in mind the, the times for the assignments. So, for example, the quizzes, uh, the, I'm sorry, the discussion post. Uh, they open on Thursdays at 7 a.m. and then they'll close uh, the following Thursday at 11 p.m. So Thursdays are times to check Blackboard and look for the new discussion post and make sure you submit uh, the previous one. And then for quizzes, they open up usually on Friday at 7 a.m. and they'll close on the following Friday at 11 p.m. and that's when you'll have that time. So it usually works like that, except for uh, if we have some other assignment or something. But I think for the most part, uh, you can scratch the midterm. I had a midterm plan, but I think it works better if we work primarily from a final paper and quizzes and discussion. So don't worry about the midterm. I'll correct that. And what else? I think that's roughly overall. Now, if you have any further questions, let me know. I'm here. You can email me here on this section where you click on email. You can email the instructor as well. Uh, and if any questions come up along, uh, please let me know. And I'll be uploading this video uh, onto Blackboard. And you'll see that on your uh, lecture videos. And you'll just click that tab, but you can always go back to the video if you're not sure about something. So I wish you guys a great semester. Let me know anything else I can help you with.